the number of deaths from car crashes overall in the state is down this year. In Southern Colorado, it's a different story. Our Allison Zimmerman looked into the data and talked to one man whose son is included in those frightening numbers. Allison? That's right, Zang. Now, these numbers come from CDOT's data. CDOT breaks the state up into regions. For Region 2, which includes all of Southern Colorado, this time last year we only saw about 70 crashes, and now there have been almost 100 people killed on Southern Colorado roads. Okay. <clears throat> Almost six months ago, things looked a lot different for Mason Peters' family. Since then, it's been a lot of depression, um, upset moments in life, and things that you, you can't prepare for. In April, Michael Finley was just weeks away from graduating from Falcon High School. He, Michael was the type of kid that would worry about being late to work if he still had 30 minutes to get to work. You know, you look and you think, that young man's going to be something. And on April 14th, the unimaginable happened. We're still in the midst of it. We'll never get our son back. The Peters aren't alone. Thousands of people around the nation die from car crashes every year. Here at home, the number of people killed on the roads went up from this time last year in southern Colorado. Based on the numbers that you're, you're telling me, this is, a, this is terrible. In many cases, solving the problem is in this case is, is bringing attention to everybody. Stop. In Finley's case, the other driver in the crash pleaded guilty to vehicular homicide this summer. As the case moves forward, his family wants to see more change. Be ready. I'd like everybody in this community to say enough's enough. There's too many lives that are being affected here. In hopes that no other families have to go through what he's been through. That's what justice looks like to me. I want to see zero. The driver in that case will appear in court again on the 10th and we've looked over this data. There are several different ways where you can look at the exact numbers. CDOT breaks it down not only by region, but by city and county. We have all of this up on our website, koa8.com. Another bit of information we did find in this data so far, El Paso County has reported the most deaths than any other county in the state. Zach?